Welcome to this brief guide on how to install and manage your apps with Wingate UI. Windows allows the installation of applications from just about anywhere, which is one of its key strengths. However, this can result in it being a little complicated to remember where each app needs to be installed or updated from. Today, I am going to introduce you to a tool that I personally use to make installing and managing my apps easier than ever. This application is called Winget UI, and I'll include a link to this page in the description below. But what exactly is Winget UI? Well, I'm glad you asked. Winget itself is a relatively recent addition to Windows that allows you to download, update, and uninstall applications from a collection of sources, all via the terminal app on your PC. Winget UI offers a graphical interface to this tool so that you don't need to use the terminal app yourself, which can be potentially confusing for some users. To install the Winget UI application, I will recommend using the link here to download the installer. But for this video, I will show you how the installation process looks when actually using Winget. I will just copy this command using the copy button at the end here, open the terminal app on my PC, and then paste this command in. Hitting enter will begin the installation process. The installer is found, downloaded, and opened for me. The installation process from here is the same as if I had downloaded the installer direct from the site and ran it. Once installed, the first time run experience will begin. It is here that we can choose our preferred settings. I highly suggest that most users just select the default preferences option. But if you select the second option, you can customize which package managers to use, as well as your preferred settings surrounding administrator rights. I'm going to head back and select the default option. Then simply click on finish. And here is the Winget UI application, all set up. Let's go through how to use it. The Discover Packages tab is where we find and install new applications. To make it as easy as possible, there's a built-in search box that you can use to find apps. I'll just do a search for Spotify, as that is something that a lot of people use. And in moments, I have a few search results, but how do I know which one to select? The source column at the end tells me where these results have come from. Generally, I will suggest using the Microsoft Store option when it is available. Here we also have results from Chocolatey and the Winget catalog itself. I then simply tick the option that I wish to install. If I wanted, I could search for more apps and install them all at the same time. Once I have selected all of the apps I want, I choose the Install Selected Packages button. My installs are now in progress and I can see their progress down here at the bottom of the application window. All of the terminal stuff is happening in the background and getting this program installed for me. And opening my start menu, I can now search for Spotify and see that the app is indeed installed. And this is also shown in Winget UI with a tick just like this. Let's now move on to probably my favorite part of this app, the ability to manage app updates. In the software updates tab, we can see that it has already found updates to two of my existing applications. These weren't installed by Winget, but the app is able to help me keep them updated still. And updating them is as easy as selecting the Update Selected Packages option. Just like with installing a new app, we can see the progress down below. The latest version of the Stream Deck and nearby Share applications are now downloaded and installed for me in around about 30 seconds. And if more updates are found later on, I will get a notification with a single button that I can click on to run all of these updates. Now that is useful. And the last option to go over here is the Installed Packages tab. It is here where we can see a full list of the applications installed already on our device. I can use this page to easily remove any programs I want by ticking the checkbox next to them. Here I will remove these three games by selecting them and then clicking on Uninstall Selected Packages. Now this is where the process differs just a little as I will get a confirmation prompt to make sure that I wish to remove these three apps. 
I select yes to confirm and the uninstallation process begins. This is much faster than using the usual way via the settings application and uninstalling one at a time. And in just moments, I've gone from 234 apps down to 231. And that is a walkthrough on using the Wingate UI app to install, update and uninstall apps quickly and efficiently on your Windows PC. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and it makes managing your apps easier in the future. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.